Hello friends. In this video we will learn about changes around us. In our everyday life we observe so many changes around us. Night turning into days. Sour mango turning sweet on ripening. Have you ever tried to analyze such common changes happening around you? Like, what happens when you sharpen your pencil or when a fruit rots? Some kind of change is taking place in each case. Do you know every change has an underlying cause and that cause leads to a visible change in the substance? A change refers to a noticeable difference in shape, size, color, state internal structure or any other property of a substance or an object. There are so many changes taking place around us on their own. Day changes to night and night changes into days. Babies grow to become adults. Seeds grow into plants and trees. Some plants shed leaves in autumn. You will realize that some changes take place instantly, while others take a much longer time. Some changes are temporary, while others are permanent. Some changes produce a new substance while others do not. Many changes taking place around us occur by themselves. Growing up of living things, occurrence of day and night, rusting of iron, shedding of leaves by plants, are some of the changes that occur by themselves. Such changes are called natural changes. The changes that are brought about by the humans are called man-made changes. Making a dress by cutting and stitching a fabric is an example of man-made changes. On the basis of some properties, changes can broadly be grouped as reversible change, irreversible change, physical change, chemical change. When we heat water it changes into steam and if the steam cooled down, it changes back into water. Similarly, if we freeze water it changes into ice and when heat is added, the ice melts into water. Changes that can be reversed to get the original substance are called reversible changes. When we heat water it changes into steam and if the steam cooled down, it changes back into water. Similarly, if we freeze water it changes into ice and when heat is added, the ice melts into water. When we blow air into a balloon, its shape and size changes. The balloon returns to its original state when the air in it is expelled out. This is the example of reversible change. Also vaporization and condensation are reversible changes. Changes that cannot be reversed to get back the original substance are called irreversible change. Growth is an irreversible change. Examples of irreversible changes are, cooking of food, digestion of food, burning of coal or paper, ripening of fruits and crops, and curdling of milk. In irreversible changes, there might be a change in the internal structure of a substance. It may result in the formation of a new substance. A tsunami is a huge ocean wave that can travel hundreds of miles over open sea before it hits land. It moves with a high speed which causes extensive damage to life and property and hence is an undesirable change. A change in which only the physical properties of a substance change, but there is no change in chemical composition is called physical change. Examples of physical changes are breaking of glass, tearing of paper, melting of ice, glowing of an electric bulb. Some of the changes are reversible. For example melting of ice, glowing of an electric bulb, evaporation of water, crushing a can, mixing sand and water, hot becoming cold, and inflation of hot air balloon. Some physical changes can be irreversible. For example, breaking of glass, 
tearing of paper, bursting of balloon, and grinding of wheat into flour. Characteristics of physical change A physical change affects only physical properties such as size, shape and state of a substance. The product is chemically identical in nature to the original substance. No new substance is formed. A physical change can be either reversible or irreversible. The amount of energy required to carry out a physical change is small compared to the amount needed for a chemical change. Changes that involve the formation of new substances with composition and properties different from those of the original substances are called chemical changes. Common chemical changes that take place around us are burning and rusting. The substances that take part in the chemical reaction are called reactants. The substances that are formed as a result of the chemical reaction are called products. So the chemical reaction is represented as. For example, carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. In this chemical reaction, carbon and oxygen are reactants while carbon dioxide is a product. Characteristics of chemical change A chemical change is the result of a chemical reaction between reactants to form one or more products. New substances with different properties are formed. Chemical changes are mostly irreversible in nature. The amount of energy involved in a chemical change is substantial, as in the case of burning. Common causes of physical and chemical changes Mixing of two or more substances A physical change takes place when two or more substances are mixed. For example, when salt is added to water, it forms a solution. Salt can be recovered from the solution by evaporation of water and no new substance is formed. A chemical change also occur when two substances mix together. For example, when lemon juice is added to baking soda, bubbles of carbon dioxide are seen rising in the mixture. Here new substance form with entirely different properties. Chemical reaction. For example, silver articles corrode when exposed to air. Because of corrosion, heating and cooling can bring about a change in the physical state of matter. Application of force also causes change. For example, when a potter applies force on a lump of soil, he gives shape to the lump. Hope you understand everything about changes around us. Make a list of different changes happening around us and observe their types. 